a group of students from St. Michael's Academy in Springfield have taken the future of education into their own hands, literally, as they worked to design a 21st century learning environment that promotes learning while at the same time conserves energy and is environmentally friendly. This was no small task for these eighth graders who recently entered their design in an international competition. John Thornton has our story. What originally began as an eighth grade class project at St. Michael's Academy in Springfield led to four students competing on national and international levels. The four eighth graders, Elijah Ayers, Gerald Martin, Richard Bordenaro, and Joseph McCoy, competed in the school's next competition. Their advisor, Sylvia Kaimi, describes what the competition consists of. Schools Next is an international program currently developed for middle school students so that they can develop a 21st century learning environment of some sort. The theme of this year's competition was to create a community educational center that would promote learning, be environmentally friendly, and benefit the surrounding community. Student Elijah Ayers talks about what he and his classmates envisioned as the goal of their project. Basically to um, give, to like, again, um, fill that gap in Springfield to give a community center to Springfield because we have like the YMCA and we have Greenleaf, but they're not, they don't really give the needs to um, teenagers in Springfield. And um, we want to give um, a place where people can go and stay and be safe while still um, playing sports and um, continue on their education. While the entire eighth grade class initially participated in the project, one team was chosen to compete at the national level. For the team, this meant months of work and preparation, including building a 3D model of their community center. Student Gerald Martin explained what being a part of the team meant to him. I definitely felt a big sense of community and friendship. I mean, with the, the, my colleagues who I worked with, we definitely got a deeper, closer connection. A year's worth of hard work culminated in the four students heading to San Diego, California, to give a 20-minute presentation in front of a panel of judges. The four students won first place on the national level and second place on the international level. Miss Kamey explained how their faith helped them to prepare for the competition. I think that their faith works for them. It gives them the belief we say a prayer every day that we ask God to grant us the wisdom and grace to follow the path that he set before us so that we use our own gifts and talents he wants us to discover what we're strong at, what we're able to do, to acknowledge our weaknesses and to ask for help. And throughout this project, the children are asked to reflect on that. And it may not appear right at the surface, but deep down, those are the morals and values that we're teaching them. They don't walk alone. They walk with God next to them in everything they do. God is not looking for perfection, but he is looking for faith, and he is looking for dedication and hard work, and he is looking for you to try to be your best. Congratulations to the 8th grade class at St. Michael's Academy. For Real to Real, I'm John Thornton.